Hi guys, this is Richmond of Gadget Sidekick. So we have here on our hands the brand new Huawei Nova 5T. So it was just launched just last week here in the Philippines and we're fortunate enough to unbox this right here, right now. Okay, so looking at the box, it's uh, a premium white box. So we have the black version, 8 gig, 128 gig of storage. So, yep. There it is. This is the phone itself. There you go. It's looking very premium out of the box. So we'll see what other things we have here. Okay, we have the case, definitely jelly case. Some manuals, of course. Not so shabby, not bad. Okay, some manuals quite thick okay so a fast charger from Huawei supercharged okay this is a very very fast charging cable so there's a headset in here and of course the type C cable and that probably rounds out everything inside the box okay so looking at the phone itself it's very very premium okay so Huawei packs everything into this phone and on the top side we have the IR and the noise cancellation mic on this side we have the volume rocker the fingerprint sensor also known as the power button down here USB type C uh, mic in and of course the loudspeaker and on this side of course the dual sim tray at the back four cameras and yep four cameras the one up front it's a punch hole indeed okay so yeah so there's a lot of pictures in the net so I'm just uh, able to review this but my friend asked me not to peel it off, so yep. <laughs> so there you go. But it feels so premium. I was there on their launch and was able to hold the purple one and it was really, really nice. The back is a 3D design and it's really, really something. So, yep. Taking a quick look. So, the phone is quite fast. So let's ask Antutu how fast is fast. There you go. The speed is 3 and uh, the score from Antutu is 341,000 which is quite close enough to beat those Snapdragon 855 which scored at around 360,000 points. Okay, so checking my device. So you can see that uh, yep, it's Android 9, it sports the green 980, uh, then the GPU is a Mali G76, 1080p, the rear camera is a 48MP uh, coupled by 16, 2 and 2, then we have 8GB uh, of RAM, pdgr 4 x storage is 128GB. Whoa, it's UFS 2.1, it's not bad, okay. Taking a look at other specs, refresh rate is 60 hertz. The size of the screen is 6.2 inches. Pixel density, okay, so it's 412 ppi. Which is really, really, really good. Okay, the front camera is a selfie snapper, 32 MP, we'll show you some photos later battery 300 uh, 3750 and nothing more there's the NFC which is good and there you go round out everything for you so many of us would ask if this is supported uh, when I install a Google Gcam Yep, it is, but though it doesn't support raw support, though it's still good. Okay, so 
looks so premium to be honest. Uh, what more can I say about this phone? It's really really nice. Taking a look at the gallery. There you go. The 32 MP selfie snapper is a winner. Okay, so you can see uh, the photo is really really uh, very natural, very vivid and yeah it shows it's almost like the real me okay uh, well of course no beautification i turn it off so taking a picture on the green grasses it's really also very clear very crisp i really can't uh, find any loophole on this it's taking a shot at the nature some more green stuffs oh no this stuff video okay so it took some video and it was awesome uh, the image stabilization is also good on this phone okay. and yeah look at it look at the beauty of this phone okay. so more green shots more sky shots and yep that's about it so we have tried to play uh, PUBG the other day and it was really really fast and well it since it's a Korean 980 there's not really much of a problem uh, navigating this phone and what I like about this is the touch uh, fingerprint on the side which is pretty easy to hold here just like that yeah. So testing mobile legends you can see the yep. It's really really uh, very responsive. Okay, so yeah I can see that ML is pretty, pretty very responsive here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, yeah, of course, Mobile Legends is not a very graphics intense game, therefore, you shouldn't have much problem playing this game. Okay. So, with that said and done, uh, let's go ahead to uh, conclude. Now this phone is really one performer and the price is really really uh, budget friendly at 18990 here in the Philippines. So yeah, I really highly recommend this phone since it's uh, giving me an immersed feeling while playing and the screen ratio, uh, the, the, I like the way they have the, uh, the phone, the screen, the bezel is quite small, the edges so good. You can see the only thing that I really don't like is the punch hole over here on the top left. Uh, it's like my phone is perforated. Yeah, that's the correct term, perforated. And well, though it's still better than the notch, but yeah, this the punch hole is probably the in thing right now. And what can I do? Probably the, the only thing that you can do on this is a pop up camera, but. Huawei opted to use the punch hole instead. Okay, so and this is the Huawei Nova 5P, and I am Richmond for Gadget Sidekick, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.